Want to make a video like this one? Open Canva and click on Create. Type in YouTube Video and select YouTube Video Landscape. Click on your background and click on Color above. Select a color you like, preferably a darker tone. Go to Elements and look for Paper Texture. Add it to your canvas and set its transparency to 60. Go back to Elements and look for Grid. Select a grid element and place it on your canvas. By the way, I have a template link below you can import to your Canva account, so you don't need to do this manually. Just copy mine with one click. Adjust its transparency to 20. Duplicate it and position it properly. Go to Elements and look for ripped newspaper. Add them to the corners of your canvas. Also look for chalk scribbles and add them to the sides. Change the color to gray and adjust the opacity to 20. Duplicate and place it on the other side. Click on text and add a text to your canvas. Type in animate. Select Playfair Display SC as your font and set the size to 112. Make sure the color is white. Click on your text again and click on animate. Select Fade, set it to both, and leave the speed be at about 50%. Add another text, input Like. Change the font to Times New Roman. Set its size to 50. Click on Effects and select Background. Adjust its roundness to 0. Adjust its spread to 25. Make sure the color of the highlight is yellow, specifically with the code FFED00. Now add a circle element. Change its color to yellow. Add another text and type in Vox. Change its font to the Mumbai sticker and leave the color as black. Go to Positions, select Layer. Select the circle and the Vox text and group them. Click on it and click on Animate. Select Fade, set it to both and leave the speed at 50. Duplicate the like text and replace the new one with the word using. Now click on the word Vox and copy it. Replace it with the word Canva and change the color to white. Also set the font size to 150. Click on Animate. Select Neon and set its animate to both. Set the page duration to 5 seconds. Now duplicate this page and then delete all the elements except for the background. Add a photo of your map and align it to the middle. Click on Animate and select Tumble. Set it to both. Copy your map and go back to the first page. Paste it here. Adjust its angle and hide it on the top left corner. Go back to your second page and set its duration to 2. Then duplicate it. Adjust the size of your map and zoom in on it. Add a transition and select Match and Move. Set its duration to 2 seconds as well. Now duplicate this page. Go to Tools. Draw around the area of the map you want to highlight. Once again, I have a template link below. Check it out so that you can import this template to your Canva account. Click on your drawn element and go to Animate. Select Wipe. Set its animation to both. Adjust its speed to about 25 
and then set its direction to right. Set this page to 2 seconds as well. Duplicate this page, zoom the map out again. Go to Elements, look for Arrow, select the broken line arrow, change its color to red, adjust its line weight to 15, and then change its line type to curved. Properly connect the points on the map and properly position your curve. Go to Animate, select Wipe, set its animation to both, adjust its speed to the lowest, and set the direction to right. Go to Elements and look for Plane. Add it to your page and resize it. Change its color to red. Click on Animate. Select Create Animation. Create a path that follows your curved line. Go to Movement Styles and select Smooth. Then enable Orient Element to Path. Set the duration to 5 seconds. Duplicate this page, resize your map, and position it on the lower right corner. Adjust its opacity to 25, then add your newspaper. Position your newspaper in the middle. Click on Animate and select Tumble. Set it to both. Copy it and then go back to the previous page. Paste it here. Adjust its angle and place it on the upper left corner. Then go to Transitions and select Match and Move. Go back to the last page and then set its duration to 1.5. Duplicate it. On the new page, resize your newspaper to have it zoomed in. Select your image and click on Edit. Go to Magic Grab and grab the text. Now this will be separated from your image. Add a rectangle element and change its color to yellow. Resize it to fit the first line of the text. Go to Position and send it backwards. Go to Animate and select Wipe. Choose on Enter only. Leave the speed as it is and select Right. Do the same thing for the other text line. Right click on it and select Show Element Timing. Make sure that it appears and starts animating only after the first line and then set its page's duration to 4.5. Now duplicate your page, tilt your newspaper image, and place it on the left side. Adjust its opacity to 25. Look for flat, minimal, horizontal tablet frame. Then add it to your canvas. Resize and properly position. Click on Animate and select Tumble. Set it to both. Open Canva in another tab. Click on Create, and on the search bar, type in YouTube Video and select Video Landscape. Here, add your pictures in each Canva page. Set each of the photo to one second. Go to Elements and look for Noise. Go to Videos and add the video noise effect to your video. Adjust its opacity to 35. Click on Edit Video and select Adjust, then set the brightness to 100. Copy it and paste it to all the other pictures on all the other pages. Add Transitions and select Slide. Set the duration to 0.25 and the direction to Down. Apply this to all of your pages. Go to Elements and look for Camera Shutter under Audio. Drag and drop it to your timeline and time it according to your transition. Repeat the process and once you're done, download it as MP4. Go back to your Vox video project, upload the video you edited and insert it onto your tablet frame. Don't forget to add a match and move transition. Now duplicate your page and hide all of your elements in the corners. Insert a picture you'd like to use and click on Edit Photo. Select Remove BG and position it properly. Click on Animate and select Tumble. Add a text box and input your text. Change its font to Playfair Display SC and set its size to 250. Change its color to white. Click on Animate and select Clarify. Apply the Match and Move Transition. Let's go ahead and add the sound effects. 
go to Elements and look for Page Turn Paper, add it to the second page, and adjust its timing according to the video. Go to Elements once again and look for Paper Turn. Add it to the next page and time it properly according to the transition. Look for Marker Write 6 and add it to the next page. Place it in time with the animation. Copy Paper Turn and place it in time with the transition. Copy Page Turn Paper and place it in time with the transition. Copy Paper Turn and place it in time with the transition. Copy Marker Write 6 and add it to the next page. Place it in time with the animation. Copy Page Turn Paper and place it in time with the transition. Go to Elements and select an audio you'd like to use. Click on Fade and select Fade Out. Set it to 2 seconds. Now save your file. Click Share, Download, select MP4 and download it. And here is the finished product. Like this template? Check out the link below to download our template so you don't have to do this manually. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you found this video of help.